time with Arrow Productions. We're looking at another classic film noir. Of course, Hollywood has rarely had any ideas and even now relies on books for its stories. We're looking at the big clock as it was in 1946 and 1948. The clock in the movie is a real clock. It is the centerpiece of a publishing company. As school clocks were years later, it was an electric machine that drove synchronized clocks throughout the building. We can see it here in a colorized movie poster. The clock in the book was a figure of speech that meant many things. It was the march of time always hunting you down. It might have been a swipe at Time magazine or the march of time newsreels that were popular back then. The clock was also the corporate machine and one could be a cog in it. Finally, the clock is destiny, and the book ends by sinking to Deus Ex Machina. Another difference is that the book is a sexual free-for-all, while the movie is much more restrained. This is true of most of the main characters, but we'll look at our hero, George Stroud. In the book, he's a freewheeling media type who womanizes and drinks constantly. Everyone at the hotel he uses knows him well. In the movie, he's an innocent who drank too much one night and was in over his head. The book was published as a hard look at the publishing business, albeit from the highest part of the food chain to something below. It captured the pompous meetings, the old three-month schedule, and some of the more interesting ideas. One of the magazines had a program planned called Funded Individuals, in which shares in the future careers of children with scholarships would be sold like stocks. While Hollywood is further away from magazines than book publishers, they took a more reverent look at the business. It's hard to say why they chickened out. Maybe it was easier. Maybe they wanted to promote the movie and magazine ads. Well, what differences have you seen? Have you read The Big Clock? Have you seen the movie? Are you glad you did? Let us know in the comments.